This here is a quadruped robot, aka the robotic dog called Exgo Mini. Powered by a Kendrite K210 chip is one of the most sophisticated robots we've seen yet, featuring 12 degrees of freedom as well as the capability to go ahead and balance itself with ease. Now this year's funding right now, so if you guys wanted to go ahead and get your own, be sure to check out the link down below in the description. And in this episode here, we'll be unboxing the XGO Mini as well as trying it out and even putting it to the test. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so this here is the packaging that they sent us. Now, keep in mind that it is a prototype, so this is not the official packaging, but kind of gives you an idea exactly what it comes with and what exactly it looks like. So let's open it up. <laughs> okay, so you can see our XGO Mini just kind of sitting about. All right, it does come with a charger, so this here is just a standard wall outlet charger. And then we do get a USB-C cable, so we can go ahead and program it by plugging it to the computer. So that is nice. This here is a cloth-like USB cable. And then last but not least, we have our XGO Mini. By Mini, this here is still a relatively large size robotic dog. Now, uh, overall, I have to say that first impression, it does look really nice. So it does have this almost metallic kind of finish to it and then features a variety of different metal components. Now, each particular leg consists of two servos followed with another servo built into the access system. So that's three per corner, three, six, nine, 12 different servos. Uh, so that is quite nice to see how they play that out. Uh, so we have a screen module, a camera module, uh, power button here on the top and it looks like there may be a speaker as well So we have a few different things going on here. So for one we do have a USB-C port here on the bottom um, Looks like it might be an aux port. I'm not exactly sure why that's there uh, We have three different buttons You have one button here on the bottom two buttons here on the top and then we have our charging port here on the bottom um, So let's go ahead and turn it on and see what happens I'm gonna go ahead and hit the power button There is a green LED that just indicated and the robot went into its on stats. All right, so first off, it shows you the firmware version. It says you can go ahead and run the last. You can go ahead and try the demos. Now you go ahead and toggle by pressing the button here on the top like this, and then you hit the bottom one here to hit select. Now we're going to try demos. So this will showcase all the different demos that they have pre-built into the robot. Now there is an app version, which we'll be looking at in just a little bit, but these here are appless models or versions of the robot uh, features. So you have a dog show, face detection, facial recognition, face tracking, mass detection, hand gesture, hand tracking, traffic sign detection, traffic light detection, uh, image classification, bone recognition, sound spectrum analyst, speech recording, speech recognition, regional color analyst, learn and find color, track square, find circle, find rectangles, find lines, find QR codes and decode. So a good amount of different variations of pre-built programs that you can run off of. Now, just to kind of showcase the robot today, we'll be actually just doing a quick dog show. So let's kind of showcase some of the features with the robot. And then we can go ahead and hit start or run and So it does have some facial animations as you can see right over here. <laughs> And look at it move. Ah, oh, that's so cool. <laughs> Surprisingly, it is quite quick for what it is. Look at that. So there's a stationary running. Uh, so you do some push ups there. And oh, we got some swing. So it's just kind of swing back and forth right there. So forward and back, left and right, uh, kind of showcasing you what these servos can do. Now this is more of like a twist, so that is quite neat. All right, and then some more swing. <laughs> so you can see the way it flexes, it is quite natural-like, that is really unique. 
uh, as it's, oh, what, what? Is that, is it really doing what I think it's doing? <laughs> That's too funny. <laughs> All right, so now it looks like it's just sitting down. Uh, I'll showcase you on the side exactly what it's doing there. So it's doing a little wave. All right. And that, oh wait, so we still got some more. <laughs> so now it's bending down. Leaning forward. Oh, look at that, doing like a little wave there. A little jiggle, a little dance that it's doing. <laughs> Oh, this is so cool. <laughs> so currently it's just kind of going through all the different animations. Wow, look at that. <laughs> Shake. Standing really tall there. Medium, low, almost like a crawling stance there. Back in the circle motions. So it's just gonna keep going through the different motions. Uh, and we're back in the push up mode. So in order to turn it off, we'll just hit the off button just like this. Now, I think the best thing to do now is try out the app next. Uh, so let's go ahead and boot that up really quickly. All right, so we're all set and ready to go. Uh, we have our main hub in terms of the controls go. So we have a uh, performance mode allowing us to go ahead and control the robot in terms of pre-defaulted animations, radio control mode allowing us to use it as an RC, motor coordination, as well as servo control mode too. So kind of jumping right into it, we have a radio control mode allowing us to control it as an RC. So you can go ahead and have the robot rotate right and left, just like this. <laughs> Uh, and then I can go ahead and have the robot move forward and back. Forward. <laughs> Look how fast that is. And back. And I can also go ahead and control the height so I can go really high up and move forward. Or I can go ahead and really down low, almost like a crawling state, and move back. And I can also go ahead and rotate in this particular height too, which is really nice. Now another thing that the robot can do is it can go ahead and pivot. So I can pivot to the right or pivot to the left. So it gives you full control over the robot in terms of being able to control it both X, Y, Z, as well as rotational panel. Now you also have a superior mode, uh, which is almost like two analog controls. So I can go ahead and have the robot move forward. Oh. <laughs> All right, so that, that, that's just almost like uh, an agility mode, I guess you could say. Uh, we have a right and a left. So it's just a little bit more different control mode goes. Um, and it kind of slows and goes fast, which is kind of interesting to see. So it's almost more natural-like. Uh, now you also have XYZ, allowing us to go ahead and control the, uh, looks like the movement of the robot in terms of the leaning posture goes. So I can go ahead and have it move left, or lean left, lean right, lean forward, lean back. Now I can also control the height of the robot, so if I go really down low, then lean forward, or I can go really high up and like lean back. So kind of gives you an idea how that works. Now you also have PRY, which is almost like a, a it's like a rotational, like a twist function. So I can have the robot lean forward where it's bending down or lean back where it's just bending upwards. Uh, I can have it sit down too. There we go. And again, lean forward, lean back. I can have lean left and lean right. So that is actually cool that it does kind of give you full function over the robot in terms of control goes. So with that said, this here is performance mode. So I can go ahead and stand up and we can go ahead and see these pre-defaulted uh, animations. For instance, we have uh, lie down. So the robot will lie down. I can have it squat. I can have it sit down. Uh, I can go ahead and have a uh, body wave. So these are some of the pre-defaulted animations that we saw already uh, when we were doing the dog show uh, feature. So it gives you full function over that particular control mode. All right, so the next thing we'll look at is mortar coordination mode. 
So this looks like we can go ahead and control each specific uh, joint. For instance, if I use Z and control the value there, I can go ahead and have it rotate just like that. Uh, these are all front and left. So these are all regarding the three servos of the front and left. So if I need to go ahead and um, reset the particular uh, servo or kind of adjust it, this is the way I can adjust it. Uh, and I can go ahead and adjust the pre-defaulted one for each particular limb. So that's kind of neat. So if I hit reset, it'll go back to the default and it'll be back in its ready state. So you can go ahead and essentially uh, fine tune your robot in case if you really need to. Uh, obviously with these servos, sometimes they get out of line. And again, this is also regarding the specific uh, servo motor. I'll line us go ahead and see the rotational panel of it as well. So you can control each individual outcome um, and then just hit reset to default back into the normal state. I think the next thing we're gonna do is go ahead and throw it up in the challenge, see how this thing handles like a quick little obstacle course. All right guys, check it out. So we're gonna do a quick little challenge here. So we're gonna have our robotic dog start off over here, make its way around this bend through this pit of blocks. Holy moly, that's crazy. Through this zigzag right over here and then following through this Cosmo Q pit and lastly through the finish line. Let's see if this robot can handle this challenge. have it so this here is the Exco Mini overall a fun robot I haven't seen a robot like this in a very long time and probably one of the most unique we've seen yet now robotic dogs are currently trending and are becoming a big thing so it's exciting to see what the future holds for us and I have to say the Exco Mini is definitely a step up from anything I've seen yet now with that said if you guys had any questions at all feel free to comment down below otherwise thank you again for watching and we'll see you guys next time take care now bye bye